guys Coco here and this is going to be a new segment that I'm going to start um, it's going to be called skate chat and pretty much I'm just going to be talking about products that I like that I use so it's not necessarily always a review but just kind of like chatting about skate parts or skate things and all skate related topics so we're gonna go ahead and get into some things and I'm gonna talk about one of the most asked question and that is what are my favorite wheels to use while skating outdoors <clears throat> so if those of you who do not know me or know my skate style that um that I have, um, I guess you can say I'm known for skating outside, so like my outdoor skating style um, and technique. And besides, obviously, um, being really comfortable with skating outside and years of experience, um, that helps me a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, however, what is helping me the rest of the way um, is really my freaking wheels. And these are my absolute favorite wheels. Hopefully the camera got it. But my to-go-to outdoor wheel are the Pulse wheels. Love. Seriously, absolutely love these fucking wheels. Like, my absolute hands down, no questions asked outdoor wheels. The Or you can thank me later these will change your life drastically okay so now that we're um, away from that theatrical meltdown <laughs> just so passionate about these wheels let me break these wheels down for you all right <clears throat> so they come in tons of colors I think they come in like black green pink purple here I have the blue ones um, so they're still clear, but I also have black ones and the blue ones kind of turn into like a teal color uh, after you wear them down. But um, they're made by Autumn Wills, so A-T-O-M. And then this is kind of like just a style of wheel that they, that they create, which is Pulse. Um, one thing that I noticed that uh, sets these pulse wheels aside from like all other um, outdoor wheels um, is the core and there's a core inside I'm going to try and see if you guys can view it from here but if not I'm maybe I'll enter a picture but there is like this hard core inside and it kind of looks like a disc, like a flying saucer disc, um, kind of sprawling outwards. And what that does is it's actually protecting yourself from any debris you get outside, like on the road. Um, so it's kind of like like shock, like a shock absorber, pretty much. Like on a car, like suspension. This is pretty much the same thing, but for your for your skates or your wheels. Um, and one thing I remember when I first tried these wheels, like six, seven years ago, seven years ago, something like that, um, I noticed, and I'm not exaggerating, I felt like rocks and debris were basically like shooting away from my wheels when I tried these pulse wheels. And I noticed a difference instantly, like instantly i cannot exaggerate how much comfortable this will made it for me to skate outside um especially when i'm doing my detailed tricks like um lifting my leg in the air um in transitions because i like to transition a lot so sometimes i'm on, only on one foot um like i said before yes i could do all these tricks before um, but with this wheel, it just makes it more easy, less effort, and more consistent flowing 
through my transitions or whatever tricks that I'm that I am trying to perform. So anywho, breaking down the specs, it is 35 milliliter. Milliliter. <laughs> it's 35 um, milliliters, milligrams, millimeters, millimeters. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so sad. I'm not the best in math, okay guys? Yeah, so 65 millimeters. And the hardness is 70A. So that is a like hardcore, but with a, like a sticky um, outside resistance for bumps and cracks and everything that you got going there. Now I will say this, because it is a thick wheel, um, for those of you who are used to thinner wheels, this could be like a little bit of a learning curve for you to get used to, especially if you're an advanced or intermediate skater and you kind of already have your flow down, um, you might notice a bit of a learning curve with trying to transition your tricks from a thinner wheel to a thicker wheel. One thing I will say about this wheel that I don't necessarily like, or I wish it was another way, I should say, um, is that you can't really jam skate in these wheels. And um, there's a few reasons why. One, the wheel is a bit sticky. So it is gonna be grabbing the floor quite often. And you need a harder wheel for like rhythm and depth dance skating to be able to slide and kind of use the floor um, to integrate into your moves and obviously when you're skating on the pavement and you're getting a lot of a shock um, absorbent coming from your wheels um, your wheels not really going to be giving you that option to kind of use the floor to slide around uh, and uh, hopefully that breakdown makes sense I know it's a little detail oriented but I love talking about products, so we're just gonna have to um, bear with me. <laughs> um, so another thing, um, if you are an artistic skater and you might wanna use them for indoor skates, uh, like indoor wheels, you can use them for indoor wheels. I think they're a good beginner indoor wheels because they are very sticky. And if you are going to a roller skating rink or practicing in a really smooth skating, um, smooth floor skating area. Um, you're gonna have more stability because it's really gripping the ground, really gripping. Um, and as for an artistic skater who kind of wants to transition to outdoor skating, this would be perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I have heard of people uh, using this in roller derby. I personally think for roller derby wheels, these are a bit big and heavy and chunky and you want to be a bit more agile and maybe using the floor to slide around so these probably wouldn't be um my main wheel i would encourage you to go to um but it is possible for you for you to use them in roller derby um as for using these wheels in a bowl i would say no 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 and first reason they're super heavy so yeah, you don't want extra shit already weighing your your boot down and your setup, whichever plate you have. Um, secondly, they're sticky. They're super sticky. And with that said, it's like they're crawling and keeping, you know, the bowl as close as they can to you. Whereas you need harder wheels for a bowl to kind of move more freely. Um, also to the width personally it's just way too big for a wheel to be using in a bowl it's just way too thick way too much stuff going on and um, those would be like my main reasons for why I wouldn't suggest uh, oh and they're slow as fuck <laughs> in a bowl so I guess if you're just beginning maybe you want to drop in a few times with these wheels because you would feel very secure and really sticking to the bowl so if you are a beginner bowl skater these I would try them um, but other than that, definitely, definitely do not use these in a bowl. Um, I wouldn't recommend them. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I guess that is it for my skate chat. 
slash review on these amazing post wheels. I'm gonna leave some links down below on where you can find these wheels. Um, if you love my page and you love this content, please, please, please tell a friend, share this video, leave a comment, please. If you also wanna support my page and you're interested in getting this product, if you uh, buy any of the products from the clicks, from the links down below in the description box, then a proceed will go to me and making these videos and helping the page grow. Thanks again for tuning in guys and I see you in the next one.